weekend I would like to welcome all the graduates and their families if you could wave to us please could you wave you are here because you are done or because you congratulate someone who is done who is finished and then we have those who are at the other end of the of this spectrum at the beginning of the uh, studies. Could you please wave quickly, those who start anew? You will be welcome a little bit later in a special way. And then we have all those who are here always, our local people, our senior citizens, even those who, who are watching us from a distance. Welcome to all of you. Welcome in God's name. May the presence of God bless our being together and warm our hearts, even though it is a bit cold. So welcome to all of you. our joy of fellowship uh, in this worship service and our thankfulness and praise to God is to be expressed together by us. It's uh, the hymn number 25 in the SDA hymnal if you want to join or watch the screen, I guess. So you can uh, sing, but please put on the masks if you sing. And we'll remain seated for this first Wir werden die erste Strophe gemeinsam auf Englisch singen, die anderen beiden Strophen zwei und drei English, auf Deutsch. And then the other verses in German.
wir wollen nun gemeinsam ein weiteres We would like to sing another song and it speaks about listening uh, no, higher. higher we believe in a God that is higher uh, higher than everything else who is above everything and uh, hears us
we are here to celebrate you. We are here to feel a joy because of things you have done for us. Thank you for this beautiful day, for this beautiful Sabbath, for this beautiful assembly, and for everything we can celebrate because of you. Thank you that you are higher than anything. You are above all. And we want to ask you to come to fill us with your Holy Spirit. Be your name celebrated, please. Amen. Good morning. We are certainly sitting here in the arena. I'm quite fresh. Some people brought uh, blankets as well. Good idea. And I also have, should have brought a coat with me. That probably would be more comfortable. We have a special worship this morning in which we welcome those who have come to please our new. We are here new. We have 52 new students. And I would like to present Robinson to you. He comes from Kenya. He studied MTS and International and Social and Science and now lives in Papstorf and is one of the Behaupten church leaders here at Students Eye. He is responsible for the uh, international students. And we would we would like to introduce the new students to you. We thought we, we would do it like this. On this side, on the left, are the graduates, and on the right-hand side are the new students. But we noticed that some have moved away because of the cold. But we nevertheless would like to introduce you quickly. Perhaps you could uh, advise all those who are here new as students. Now they are distributed a little bit around the hall, but if you could get up. Please stay seated. We would like to know where you are coming from, so Robinson is coming to you to ask you. Where are you coming from and what are you studying here? So he comes from Nepal and uh, speaks a few sentences in German already. Wonderful. So Nepal, the roof uh, of the world. He was quite surprised, actually, that he was the only one from Nepal. Um, so a special welcome for him. And if you want to meet him, Namaste is what you say when you meet him. That is the welcome in Nepal. Carlos is the first day out of quarantine. All right. Good morning, everybody, and happy Sabbath. I am I'm, I'm Amado Carlos, and I'm originally from Angola. But unfortunately, I was in a quarantine because I was coming from Singapore, 
I've been working that way. And I'm also a new student for international social science. Thank you. So, Er ist von Singapur angereist und äh, ich denke mal, das ist ja eine schöne Strecke. Er ist aber geboren in Angola, is that right? Born in Angola, yeah. He was born in Angola, okay. and, uh, but lived, came here to us from Singapore. Some who study theology, Wieland, you came with your family. Yeah, einen schönen guten Morgen. Um, so wir good morning. Ich, yes, we, und Elisa, schon Patrick, vier Elisa, we already had to study Hebrew, which was quite intense. But uh, I'm thankful that we can be here and that my family could come as well and we enjoy our time here. Patrick comes from Germany, surprise. I lived in many places and I'm glad you are here. You study theology. So thank you. Good you are here. Up there we have another family, and we already kind of move to the other side. And we see Lisa here, who has sung at the beginning, and she starts theology at uh, Friedensau and learned Hebrew as well, and she's highly motivated. So thank you, good you're here. Up there we have another family. Where do you come from? I'm Carlos. I was born in Angola and uh, lived in Switzerland, grew up in Switzerland, and now I'm a pastoral assistant and I'm studying counseling here. And I'm here with my family. Yeah. First semester of counseling. So welcome. So, thank you very much. We, um, we want to pray for you. You may be seated now. But I would like to read a text for you. And I like to use this for people who are moving into a new land, into a new country who start a new um, section in life. Joshua uh, chapter 1, verse 9. I tell you anew, be courageous and decisive. Do not be discouraged, for I am your God, and I'll be with you wherever you go. So, Take this as a personal knowledge, that uh, assurance that God goes with you, that he gives you the strength. And uh, we want to give you a little present a little bit later. It will happen at the exit today. The church pastor will hand it to you and his helpers as a welcome uh, here at Friedensau so that you know that the church wants to support you as well and that uh, you can uh, be connected with Friedensau Church. A little hint 
for for the church as we pray for each other at the end as we walk out there will be two people where you can leave your money and give an offering now we would like to pray for you and we've got four people here in German and in English and I ask you to be standing Lad uns zu lad uns zu einem Gebet ein So let's pray Vater, ich möchte dich auch für die Dozenten und Mitarbeiter Father, I want to pray for the teachers and for the staff that um, that you may bless them at the start of a new academic year, that you lead them and in whatever they do, that there may be an enrichment for the students, for the atmosphere, for the whole campus, for the life here. This is what I ask. I ask you for the campus life as well, that we can meet each other in a spiritual uh, way, that we can experience you. Fill this campus with your spirit, with your presence. Let us experience this, that we can grow and uh, give testimony to you. And I would like to pray especially for the internationals here, that we can meet together that we can enjoy each other, that we can uh, find each other and talk to each other uh, with all the uh, cultural diversity. Help us to uh, see these possibilities, we ask in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Our most gracious and everlasting Father, at this moment, we also want to commit all the international students into your care. Father, we want to thank you for their lives. We want to thank you for how far you've left them through their journey up to this point. And Lord, at this moment, we want to plead with you that as they left their family and their friends back in their country, they may also feel at home at this place and make new friends. Father, we plead with you that this campus, with all its facilities and its community, may be a blessing to them. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Great God, we thank you for the new students here at Friedensau. We ask you that they find a home here, that they really arrive in this village, that they find new friends, and that they have a good time. We ask you that they also find a spiritual home in our church. Father, I pray that you open our hearts and our ears for their concerns, for their troubles, for their questions. and that you encourage the new students that they are active with their gifts and talents in the work of the church here. Let them have a, f a family and a home spiritually as well. Amen. And the Lord, we pray this morning for all those who are graduating. It's a time of transition for them. Father, we pray that you inspire them so they can have a vision for their future. If there is anyone among them who is not sure of what to do after here, but we pray that you give the person a new perspective today. We pray that the education they receive from Prince Al will be a blessing to them, to their families, to their communities, to the church, and to the world. It's our prayer this morning in your name. Amen. amen. Please be seated.
We're now uh, listening to Christoph Till. Christoph Till is a graduate. And before he starts, I would briefly like to welcome the One Year for Jesus people. I forgot that, unfortunately. One Year for Jesus, a whole block over there. Please greet them. There are uh, people from Nuremberg, they sit down now, and the group from Hanna is standing there, and uh, oh, Johannes, one of them wanted to say something about One Year for Jesus. Yes, exactly, I'm Caro. And I'm from the Herne team. We all are from the team Herne. And Andy Weber is uh, directing us in uh, North Rhine-Westphalia. And if you want to know more about what we are doing, please watch uh, Insta, uh, One Year for Jesus. So good morning. We are uh, I'm uh, Johannes, and uh, this is the team from Nuremberg. Dagmar Janssen is the leader for our uh, placement there. 
And if you want to know more about us, just meet us, just talk to us. Who of those who are here have done one year for Jesus in previous years? There are a few here. If you look around, if you wave their hands. Philip was one of the pioneers of one year for Jesus. Yes, thank you. Christoph, jetzt dein Part. Christoph, now it's uh, up to you. It's fascinating for me to see the new international students. Usually I knew them already because I picked them up at the airport. This wasn't the case this time, so it's good to see you and to see that they're new students, even though not all of them came here uh, to cool down. It is... Uh, Nice to be here. After a week, uh, last week we had a youth meeting here. I'm living in Chemnitz for a month or so. And uh, five years ago I came to Friedensheim. Now these five years, to summarize them in five minutes, uh, simply is impossible. I can't manage that. However, I would like to use this opportunity to say thanks. Um, because in these five years, this place has become a very special place to me and my family. Now, I don't always agree with my lecturers, uh, but I don't have to, fortunately. A few years ago, we had the slogan, um, place uh, for, for room for your thinking. And this is how I understand my theology studies. I don't have to want to one uh, accept everything that is told to me, but I have to start a search for myself and to do research and find my own opinion. And for, uh, to that I would like to invite you as new students, that you research, that you find your own way, your own opinion, and uh, please take the Bible as the foundation of that. Friedensauer also offered a lot of opportunities to try yourself, and I'm extremely thankful for that. For the first time here, I had a children's Bible story. For the first time in my life, I had a Pathfinder uh, hour that I conducted. And during the pandemics, uh, I could uh, work uh, for online worship services, which was new for all of us, really. Not everything that I've done was good and not everything was successful, but I had the chance, I had the opportunity to learn in a protected uh, area, in a protected room where I got hints, where I got new impulses, new ideas to grow. At the same time, uh, within the church, I experienced a, a great openness when it was about new ideas. I think especially of the new opportunities when I was representative for spiritual life on this campus, where I could uh, make sure that every student had uh, a copy of Steps to Christ by Ellen White. I could order it and uh, could receive it. And uh, we could read uh, it together in, in the Stutz within two weeks. I'm also uh, remembering online Bible studies that finally were recognized uh, in the Corona newsletter. And uh, lecturers came by as well. And I'm thankful for that. And uh, also I'm thankful that uh, the worship services on many blankets uh, was possible, had become possible during the pandemics. This demonstrates flexibility and openness to me. So thank you that I could try all these things. And uh, thank you in the name of the students who uh, always like to try new things. And thank you to all students who do try. A special thanks to the open ears. Yes, in Friedensau, I met many open ears, people I could talk about my life with, about concerns of students with who I could pray, who counseled me.
Especially, I would like to thank Dittmar and Renate, who very often in, uh, gave an open ear to us as a family and uh, were at our sides when we needed help, especially in the medical uh, area, in the medical realm, they served us. Friedensau gave wonderful opportunities to learn, to study, to develop, to grow. And uh, if you open up to this and become active, you will make a big leap, big leap forward. And uh, I loved the feedback I got from uh, teachers, from uh, sermons or Bible studies or worship moderation. But I also enjoyed the discussions where we as students were, uh, uh, were arguing with each other. I think of Rolf, who we could discuss with quite tough where we were taken serious and where lecturers were open to view Bible texts from a different perspective. I would like to thank the university for the wonderful management during the pandemic. I've received my master and finished my master within two years despite the pandemic. At the beginning of the pandemic and the lockdown and the following months, the university reacted fast and intelligently and found solutions for online classes and carefully gave attention to our safety. And I, I was able to see what this university is able to accomplish. So I did most of my master online, sometimes more, sometimes less, as to my job. Now finally, as a family, Friedensau has become a home where we like to come back to. We think of the many friends we were able to make, our neighbors who brought cake to us every Sabbath, and it was good. And uh, I think of the many experiences we had together with other people here. Last but not least, that in the last half year, we were here as a threesome because Theodore Elijah, Elijah was born here. We think of the meetings in Stutz and the many talks. Thank you, thank you for five wonderful years that we had together. Now, finally, I would like to tell you, don't despair because of uh, low student numbers. Just entrust them to God who is able to help and look for solutions rather than for problems and go new ways in faith, uh, move forward into the future. As Friedensau has become a blessing to us, it will continue to be a blessing for many others, I'm convinced. And therefore, may God bless this university with students and teachers and staff and the local church as well. Thank you. Now we have a moment where we ask the graduates that are here to come forward. All the graduates, we would like to pray for you and send you. So please come if you're here. Uh, take your mask along, or rather put it on, and come to the front. So keep your distance. Come to us here in the front. Ihr könnt euch jetzt auch in zwei Reihen, also es muss eine Reihe 
noch nach vorne kommen, also ein paar Leute nach vorne, sonst ist der Abstand nicht So some people need to be in front so that uh, we keep the distance. Thank you. Thank you. Dear graduates, some of you speak German. Okay, I don't need to translate that, I guess. And that's why we're going to do this thing bilingual. Wir freuen uns, dass ihr das Studium erfolgreich abgeschlossen habt. We're happy with you that you successfully completed your studies. Stefan und ich möchten zwei Bibeltexte euch mit auf den Weg geben und anschließend ein Segensgebet für euch sprechen. Did mind I would like to share two Bible texts with you and then speak a prayer of blessing for you. Der erste Text steht im 1. Petrus 2 Vers 9. The first text is taken from 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9. Ihr aber seid ein von Gott auserwähltes Volk, ein königliche Priesterschaft, sein Eigentum, damit ihr die Wohltaten dessen verkündet, der euch aus der Finsternis heraus in sein wunderbares Licht geführt hat. But you are a chosen people by God, a royal priesthood. You belong to God. So you can proclaim the goodness of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Der zweite Text steht in Jesaja 6, Vers 8. The second text is from Isaiah 6, verse 8. Dann hörte ich den Herrn fragen, wen soll ich senden? Wer wird für uns gehen? Und ich sagte, Herr, hier bin ich, sende mich. Then I heard the Lord ask, whom shall I send? Who will go for us? And I said, here I am, send me. Ich würde euch jetzt auch bitten, aufzustehen. Wir wollen jetzt das Gebet für Sie sprechen. I'd like to ask you to stand as we pray for the graduates. Gott gehe dir voraus und zeige dir den rechten Weg. May God go ahead of you and show you the right way. Gott sei nahe bei dir und lege seinen Arm um dich. God be close to you and put his arm around you. Er sei unter dir, dich aufzufangen, wenn du fällst. May God be underneath you to catch you when you fall. Er sei neben dir, dich zu trösten, wenn du traurig bist. May he be next to you to comfort you when you are sad. Gott sei in dir, dich zu heilen. God be in you to heal you. Er sei um dich herum dich zu schützen in der Angst. May he be around you to protect you when you are afraid. Er sei über dir wie die Sonne am Himmel und stärke dich mit seiner Kraft. May he be above you like the sun in the sky and strengthen you with his power. Der Herr sei mit dir, um dich zu segnen. May the Lord be with you to bless you. So segne dich der gütige Gott. May the good God bless you. Amen. Amen. You can do it. You may be seated. Yeah. And während ihr euch auf eure Plätze setzt, 
möchte ich euch noch daran erinnern, dass am Ende des Gottesdienstes für die Absolventen, für die neuen Studierenden und für das One Year for Jesus Team, egal ob ihr aus Herne seid oder aus Nürnberg, für das One Year for Jesus Team, whether from Herne or Nürnberg, you get a little surprise and a flower when you leave. In the spirit of the sending and the calling by God, we would like to sing a song together. Lord, you have called us. Please keep the masks on while you sing. God, you have called us, and that's why we are here. We are your guests, and we thank you. Present before us your words and your deeds. Open, Lord, our hearts and our ear. Lord, collect. Heavenly Father, this is a new chapter for many people at the beginning of a new academic year, and for many it is the end of the time here. But some don't know where we go to. But I want to, we want to hold fast to what you've done for us. Pres present yourself to us as friends of church. Today, Roland Fischer has the sermon, and I ask you, bless him, and open our hearts and our minds, and give us your spirit, that we can take in what you are telling us. Furthermore, I ask you to draw us closer to you and pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Liebe Gemeinde, liebe Studierende und Absolvierende, liebe Dear church, dear, dear graduates, dear new students, dear translator, for your English words. That's me. It's the beginning of a new academic year, and for many it is a new beginning. It is the beginning of uh, studies or uh, a new program, study program at a new university. 
maybe a beginning at a new place in a new country. No, new beginnings are something special. They are fascinated, they are magic. They are interesting, they are challenging. Now, in Germany there is a saying, all beginnings are hard. Is that true? Well, yes and no, I would say. On the one hand, yes, it is difficult because it is challenging, it can be troubling. The competences you may not have to deal with the new stuff, like when you learn, uh, learn a new craft uh, or when you need to learn a new software, something that you've never seen before. Or when you have scientific academic work to do and have never written in an academic style. This is how I felt when I had my A-levels. I was the second uh, generation of uh, A-levels and I had to write academic papers. So I decided for text interpretation the Journey of the Magi uh, uh, by Eliot, a, a poem that still fascinates me today. Uh, the, the paper I wrote doesn't anymore. I've uh, had a few more opportunities to learn academic writing. All beginnings are easy. Would that be true? In the uh, well-known uh, poem by Hesse, a famous German uh, poet, it says, the heart must ready be at every call of life to say goodbye and start anew, to give itself courageously and without grief, to enter into new and other bonds. A magic dwells within each new beginning, gives us protection and helps us live. Yes, this magic, the fascination of the new, this interesting thing, makes things easy. For instance, in a new place, in a new country, there's a lot to, uh, to find out. Those of you who come from other countries, you get to know the people and the land. And you get to know in Germany there are beautiful mountains. Well, not here in Jerichoer Land in this area, but there's a Harz area, for instance. Or you find out the Germans, um, they shake hands at all kinds of opportunities. Well, at the time, maybe not. Or you start a new... Uh, new study program. You read the module or handbook and there are lots of themes, topics that are interesting. You get to know the lecturers, interesting people, people who might have to say something or the fellow students you get to know and you find out and the beginnings are easy. But how about when the beginning is not that easy or becomes harder over time. The Bible gives a few statements about beginnings. There are many stories uh, about people who started something new. And today I would like to look at two very foundational statements about beginnings. Right at the beginning of the Bible, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, in the beginning God created. Now, with this statement, the Bible begins. Now, the beginning is not being explained in any way or argued for. It doesn't tell us when this beginning was. But the beginning of the world and human history is casual. Uh, causally attributed to God alone. It was the origin, the origin, the, the original start of everything. And this origin came through God's creative word. God spoke and it was so. 
it says in the first verses of the Bible. Perhaps, therefore, we can say in every new beginnings there is something creative. And whenever something starts anew, we often can form, we can be creative. When we come into a new country, in a new place, we have the possibility to form the place, to um, creatively uh, develop our room, our flat, our circle of friends. Or I think of starts in, uh, in your job. Some of the graduates will be uh, starting as a pastor in a few weeks or months. And you can form the rhythm of your job, of your work. You can find new uh, opportunities and enjoy the vote of confidence you have and use it creatively. All beginnings are easy when we use the creative power that God has put into us and into new beginnings that he has placed into us if we um, use them uh, in a creative way. But more than that, God is a God of beginnings. He's the creative God. He's the one who starts new beginnings and is at our side and um, forms the new beginnings with us. Let's look at the Old Testament. Abraham, for instance, in Genesis chapter 12, he is called by God to move out from his country and to uh, dare a new beginning. And God goes with him on this journey and leads him finally to the goal, to his fulfillment, to the fulfillment of the promises. Because God was with him in a creative way, in a way that Abraham was not able to even think. All beginnings are easy when we have the creator God at our side. The second foundational statement about beginnings is at the, uh, John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word. Now those who are visitors of Friedensau know that these words are uh, at the front of the library. In the beginning was the Word. And in the creation story, we read that uh, God created through his words. So this um, idea is picked up here. But if we continue to read, we find out that the word is a person, Jesus Christ. He is this creator God, therefore. When in the beginning it is all about the uh, human history, then here the beginning is somewhat less defined. What and who and when was the beginning? It just says Jesus Christ was there. But it's much more about our beginning, the beginning of the salvific story. Because it talks about Jesus, the light, the light that came into the world, Jesus who made people children of God, who brought grace and truth. So here we deal with the Redeemer, the Redeemer God who made a new beginning for us human beings. So all beginnings are easy. And if not, where there are, when there are difficulties and failures, then it still goes on, it continues. There's a second chance, there's a new beginning.
For instance, there may be the test, the exam that you fail or the course you have to repeat. Yes, there's a second chance, sometimes even a third chance. Or you have this new room or this new flat that, and it doesn't fit, somehow it's wrong and there's a chance to move and uh, have a new beginning in a different flat in a new surrounding. All beginnings are easy if there is a new beginning. And more so, there's a God of new beginnings, the God of a second chance, a third chance, or fourth chance, fifth. An example from the New Testament. You see Peter, the disciple, Simon Peter, he called him to follow him. In Luke 5, you can read it. This was the beginning as a disciple. And, and, and it seems like it was easy for him. It was easy. He, he left his boat and followed Jesus. But then came failure. He denied Christ when Jesus was imprisoned. Was that the end of a hopeful start? No. Jesus gave him a, gives him a second chance after his resurrection. When he asked him at the lake, Peter, do you love me? So to tend my sheep. And Peter used that chance. All beginnings are easy. Yes, when we have the Redeemer God, the God of new beginnings at our side. Maybe at the end I should tell you about a young man who had a, a wonderful job, career, and that was, an, was easy for him. It was uh, an easy beginning. He was intelligent, he was creative, he was successful, and he followed a religious community and uh, put all his creativity into serving God. At least he thought so. But then he went wrong. The good beginning or the well-meant beginning went wrong, went utterly wrong. And God had to say, stop. But he gave him a new beginning. And Paul used this new beginning. He used this second chance. And he talked about it again and again. He knew the God of new beginnings at his side. All beginnings are new. Uh, easy, new beginnings. Are yes, when we have the Creator God at our side, all beginnings are new when we have the Redeemer God at our side. Amen. Ask you to stand for prayer. Heavenly Father, beginnings may trigger various things in us, interest, curiosity, skepticism, challenge. Many are starting anew here, coming to Friedensau, to study here. We want to be with them as a university, we want to be with them as a church, and we want to ask you that you are with them as the God of new beginnings. You start anew with us again and again in our personal lives, in our history with you, in the history of mankind. For these perspectives, we want to thank you as we know that everything will come to a good end with you. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen.
gemeinsam zusingen. We want to sing a song of blessing to each other. So please put your mask on. And if you wish, please get up and sing to others a blessing. both in German and in English. Der Herr segne euch und behüte euch. The Lord bless you and keep you. Am Anfang eures Studienjahres lasse Gott sein Angesicht leuchten über euch und sei euch gnädig. At the beginning of the study year, may God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Am Anfang eures Lebens nach Friedensau, hebe Gott sein Angesicht über euch und gebe euch Frieden. At the beginning of your life after Friedensau, May God lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Amen.